Oh my. Well, isn't this nice? I'm finally out of that sad white void and into this new void full of color and friends. This is starting off to be an excellent grounded vlog. My name is Shyla Schofield, and I am the social media manager here at Obsidian Entertainment. And without further ado, let's get to the shrooms so we can get to the doom. Over the last few months, we've been able to add quite a bit of content for our builders. And that isn't stopping anytime soon. To begin, let's talk about the shroom part of this update. A new building material for you to work with. How do you use mushrooms in your structures? Well, there are a few steps you need to take before you can build the base of your dreams. After you locate the burgled chip in this newly unlocked haze lab, still a work in progress, you will need to start chopping down mushrooms. I mean, you can technically do this without the chip if you want mushroom bits for snacks, but you'll also need them for the new oven and grinder. Using those tools, you'll be able to craft the shroom bricks. Not ready for shroom bricks yet? Don't worry. We've made some changes and added some new items using the current building materials. Curved doors, half walls, curved half walls, pillars, and much more are available for you to use. I think I'm finally ready to build my fighting pit now. And not just that, we've even added a new roof for you to check out. You can now build crow feather roofs for your base, after unlocking the recipe that is. And to help you out, we've increased the amount of resources you'll gain from harvesting the feathers you find on the ground. To help you customize your base even further, the team has added the ability to flip some structures, such as a spiral staircase, acorn railings, and the triangle walls. This will allow you more options when laying out the foundation of your base and will help with the feng shui. Speaking of feng shui, let's go back to talking about fun guys. The mushroom gardens to be exact. These have been renamed to the garden patch and they do just that. They let you grow a garden. You can now grow mushrooms, raw fibers, sprigs, and clovers by planting, you guessed it, mushrooms, raw fibers, sprigs, and clover tops. Also, you can now use spoiled meat to help fertilize your new garden patches. As if you needed another reason for more aphid harvesting. Are there any other items you would like to grow in the garden patch? Feel free to let us know in the comments. This update brought with it a ton of other stuff that I know you'll be excited for. So why talk when we can just show you? But that's not all. We've updated photo mode to spiff up the menu and add some snazzy new features like rotate team, hide team, hide head armor, equipment, and weapons, time of day, sun angle, and much more. We've also made it a tad easier to locate all of the burgle chips in the yard. Now, when you save burgle, you will be able to see all of the chip locations on your map. It's like treasure hunting, but with a map and no pirates, unless you want to be a pirate. Who doesn't want to be a pirate? Also, two new mutations were added to the game. Giant food items have been adjusted to give you a better time foraging. Stuffed creatures are now considered buildings instead of deployable items. Plus, you can now build stuffed ladybugs and stink bugs. And the durability of almost all weapons, tools, and armor have been increased by 25%. I would list more in this section, but I really want to get to the Doom part of the vlog, so you're just going to have to read the patch notes for all the details. So, spiders are kind of creepy, but you haven't seen anything yet. What would you say if we added a spiky new spider in a scary dark cave that you'll have to lure out with a BLT? You'd say we've gone mad! You can now fight the first boss in Grounded, the terrifying Broodmother. Based off of the equally terrifying real-life demon orb weaver, venture into the Broodmother's lair, offer her tribute, and then get ready for a wild ride. Defeating her will grant you the ability to craft a new weapon and an armor piece, so good luck! To round out this vlog, 
Let's talk about a new creature and a new feature. First, you will now discover the latest in the range of modified tasties have been added to the labs. This enhanced defense variant, called the Arc Herb, is outfitted with a capacitor stack and a hefty arm cannon, which unleashes energized balls of charged static for a greater challenge. Secondly, now for something you've all been asking for since the early, early days of our initial tests, we've included the first phase of pets. You can now tame and pet your very own aphid and weevil. These pets are all unique with different personalities and traits that you'll want to collect more than one. Plus, look at how happy they are when you pet them. It's so cute. Complete the pet ownership experience by building a little house for your little buddy and giving them the perfect name. I named mine Dinner. We talked shrooms, we talked doom, and then we talked about a ton of other things in between. But honestly, we didn't cover everything. To see what was included with this update, be sure to check out the full patch notes below. You should also join our communities on Discord, Twitter, Facebook, our newly launched TikTok, you know, all of the places, really. We love to hear player feedback, and I know you have some great things you'd like to suggest to help make the backyard a place we all want to play in. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you out in the backyard. Stay safe and stay grounded.